everyone, my name is Nongti and welcome back to my blog, Such Is Wisdom. So if you've been following my blog for the past couple of weeks, you'll realize that we've been talking about timeshare for the past couple of two or three weeks. If you haven't seen those two, I suggest you go do that. In this particular episode though, I thought I'd take you a little bit back on how our family started this journey of timeshare. When I was a little girl, my parents bought timeshare and used to take us on annual trips normally in December and it was fabulous. So when my husband and I got married, our parents begged us to take their timeshare to go on honeymoon. Now it really was not what we had in mind. We were thinking, you know, something a little bit more glamorous than what we always used to growing up. So we said thanks but no thanks. But my mom was very relentless and she begged and begged and begged. Eventually we said, okay, we'll have to think about it. But to be honest, we really were not keen on taking up timeshare for our honeymoon. So we, we thought, maybe let's look for a place that we know would have absolutely no timeshare. So my husband and I started thinking about it and we thought, yes, the Bahamas. So went back, called, and to our disappointment, they actually had a five-star resort at the Bahamas, and it was also available. So we went there rolling our eyes all the way to honeymoon, thinking, oh, you know what, actually, it's a gift, so let's be grateful. But to our surprise, when we arrived, it was the most amazing place we had both ever laid our eyes on. Ten years later, we have not looked back. Our family has been using timeshare to travel and especially now with the kids, it has absolutely opened up our horizon and made us experience our children and our family vacations in an absolutely, absolutely new way. So by the grace of God, He has helped us to understand exactly how timeshare works and I hope to share some of these lessons with you. God bless.